Hi friends, so I woke up this morning and realized I was so tired of eating rice and then I decided to do something different. So I brought out this chicken breast, some pasta, chopped off some vegetables and then went straight to cooking. I spiced up the already chopped chicken breast, gave it a very good stir, put it on the gas to start cooking. Now on the other side, I put some pot, added some water and while it was boiling, I added my pasta. So after a while, I came to add some salt, make sure the salt goes into it before I start to wash. Then while this pasta was ready, already cooked, I brought it down, not half done, but way more than half done. So I brought it down, washed it, set it aside, and then I got my chicken and started frying because by this time it was already cooked while, because I was cooking on the other side of the gas. So at this point, my chicken is done frying. I'm going to scoop it out and start to fry my veggies. So go in and add a little bit of salt, adding that onion that gives the extra flavor. You know what I mean? Turn it and then go ahead to add your tomato. So this tomato is very important. Okay. It's going to be like the binding you know what do you call it the binding whatever that i have in there because you know other veggies won't stand the test of binding okay so when the tomato melts it's going to be you know thick and moist and everything as i'm not using any cheese to cook my pasta so i went on in to add all the other veggies Give it a good stir and then I'm going to go on in and add my chicken because I don't want it to cook for so long. You know the veggies. This part is very important. You don't want your veggies to overcook. So I'm going to rush everything from this point on. And I went in and poured in my chicken stock. Yes, the chicken stock that I got from the chicken breast when I cooked it okay and then I put that in went on in to add my seasonings my curry my thyme and then my gnaw you know I always use gnaw cubes for cooking okay I added one cube into this cooking and then I gave it a very good stir after this was done I went on to add my pasta into this whole mixture and then I'm going to give it a very, very, very good stir, okay? But at this point, I'm still stirring as you can see. So now go on in, put in that pasta, give it a very good stir, make sure that everything gets incorporated. You know how I love that word, incorporated, come on. <laughs> incorporate the pasta into the sauce man let everything get incorporated and let us be united in one accord okay so you can see how it's happening already mix mix and mix okay so for the salt part you know I already added salt to the oil I also added salt to the meat while I was cooking so I'm just gonna leave that to the end of the whole thing but from my part I feel like yes the salt is gonna be enough yeah I know how to you know as a woman you will know when it's gonna be enough or not so I checked for salt already and it's just okay so I'm gonna cover it and let it cook for a while now I'm coming back to give it another stir okay so I'm gonna stare and stare and stare, make sure that nothing gets burnt. Anyway, lucky me, nothing is getting burnt. Everything is just turning so fine, okay? So you can see how it, is, it looks already. And my pasta is ready, okay? My pasta is just ready. So come on guys, let's eat because this pasta is so, so ready. Get me your plate. Let's do this. Come on. Try it.